Okay, what's up, people of YouTube? It's Joey Anderson again here from Wandering Hermits, and we're going to be taking a look at another video for the point and click um, that we've been working on. I think this is number seven. Um, last week we took a lot, uh, took a look at some cool stuff after a break for a while. Now that we're getting back into the development of the game, got a lot more stuff to cover. Um, so if you like what you see. Hit subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get uh, future updates for more content that's coming out. More of these videos, a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> today we're going to look at um, basically like cutscene dialogue, I think is what they're, it's called in the toolkit. Um, and so basically, like if you want to talk to a prisoner and have the camera angle change when you're talking to that. Because, um, I mean, we could just have them talk like, uh, you know, this is this is a dialogue that we're looking at. It's just the inspection dialogue. So if we wanted the dialogue to take place like that, boom, that's all you got to do is add dialogue. Uh, but if you want some more cool stuff to happen, like this, we talk to him, and the camera angle changes. And then when we're done talking to him, it goes back. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. That's very fun to have, and I got some nav mesh issues there. Um... Because, like, this guy's way over there, you know? And we can't really see him, but if we go and we talk to him, you know, it's going to change, and it's going to give us a completely different view, which just, you know, yeah, looks cooler. And this is just, you know, testing dialogue. These are not actual dialogues, but, hey, it works. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. So, um, um, oh, yes, yes, I know. Just ignore those. We don't. We don't worry about that yet. We're not in the bug squashing phase. First thing you need to do, toolkit. This is all in the point and click toolkit that I've talked about. That's what we're using. That is the backbone of this game that we're talking about here. So I have moved the NPC. So there you can see the path. Um, that That's where I've moved it to <clears throat> because I use it a lot. As you can tell, I have all these other NPCs that I'm doing. So anytime you do anything specific to one NPC, you have to have its own class. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create it. We're going to call this, whoops, test guy. So let's put test guy in the scene here. Um, and let's just, let's put him here. Let's rotate him around. Let's grab the interaction volume. No, oh, there. Do and these are you have to add these anywhere that you're gonna have um, your player interacting with something. Um, so eventually I'll go around and I'll add them to all of the things that are in the scene. Let's give this guy a name. Okay, he's got a name. He's gonna be able to be interacted with now. Okay. Next thing we need to do is open our scene manager, which is where all, as I've talked about before, that's where all the fun stuff happens. Oh, and I forgot, I've already started this, so we'll just delete this um, and we'll start from scratch. <clears throat> so um, if I haven't talked about it before, the, the toolkit, it's very handy to have a, you know, a blank project open. Uh, when you're getting started because you can literally just pull things from the demo or the demo scene that you like because uh, anytime that you can use stuff that's already built it just saves you time so this stuff is copied directly from um, the cutscene dialogue NPC and that scene manager so when you open that up you'll recognize this because that's all we did we just copied and pasted um, you can tweak it. I've done it. You know, I've. You can tweak any of this stuff, um, but we're just we're just going over basics right now um, to get you going. Because once you play with it, you'll figure it out. So first thing you gotta do is create a graph, and we'll call this test guy talk. Um, and then we're gonna. Woo! If I could spell, that would be cool. Custom event, and for ease of what we're doing here, we're just gonna copy this. Get rid of that. Plug that into here. We're going to rename that. 
begin test guy doc. Begin test guy talk. Oh, yes, yes, it is, but not. There we go. That was the issue is that I hadn't compiled it after I deleted it. <laughs> um, so I was like, why is it why is it doing that? But that's why. Because it, if you remember, I had already started it. So when I deleted it, it still thought that it was in there. Anyways, so create your custom event, call it whatever you want. Um, I like to call it begin whatever, whoever I'm talking to. That's how I like to do it. So for this purpose, there. And this is copied, like I said, it's copied directly from the demo. Um, that's with the toolkit. Because it's already built in there. It already works. So it's already working. Don't, you know, don't mess with it. I mean, you can tweak it, whatever. And there may be a better way to do it. This is how I'm doing it. Um, so this is basically telling it that we're going to call this event to happen later from the NPC when we talk to him. And that's telling it to change the camera view to this camera well this camera we don't want because that's the camera that we already that's for the sheriff i believe so delete that so what we want to do is we want to create a new camera oh, camera uh, camera actor and we can call this camera four i believe yep Category, let's change this to uh, test guy talk. Boom. And make sure that this is editable. We'll compile, we'll save. And that should all be what we have to do in here. Pop that over there, out of the way. Now what we need to do is that, oh wait, we're not done with that. We'll have to add that here in a second. We need a camera. So over here camera this is the camera that we're going to be telling it to switch to so we'll just do this give us kind of like a little top down something or other how about that that looks good okay now what we need to do with our scene manager selected come down here where we had test guy talk and you can tell it doesn't have a camera actor so we're going to pick one. That one. Okay. Now go back to the blueprint. Open it back up. This now has a camera associated to it. So if we plug this into the new view target. Boom. That's what we got to do. Now what we get to do is go into the test guy himself. And we need to add a couple of things. So on in dialog, we'll need something. And again, on when we talk to, which is right there. Okay. Um, for this, there again, it's copied. I'm going to open just the sheriff just so I can copy it and show you. This is copied again right from, and you can change this. I'm, this is just the simple, easy way to uh, to get it functioning. This is copied directly from the demo scene in the toolkit. Uh, and basically what this is doing is telling it to cast the event that we just created, the custom event that we just created. So as you can tell here, it says begin sheriff talk. That's because I copied it from the sheriff one. Um, if you change scenes, we're still in the same scene, so we can leave this the same because it's in the same scene. But if you change scenes, you need to change this to whatever manager you're using. You need to cast to the different manager um, because that's what controls everything. So the only thing we have to change here is, 
um, test guy. We need it to begin test guy talk. We delete that, that, and that. Um, and then we want to, oops, have a dialogue sequence as well. And we'll just call this test guy. And make sure that you do a self-reference, file, save. So that's what that looks like. And there again, you can change this, but for simplicity, we're just gonna leave it alone for now. Save. Okay. Um, then what you do is make sure that you actually have your dialogue set up, which I already should have this one set up because I did it. Yep, this is a test. So save, close that. Okay, so scene manager has the camera. That's the camera. That's the guy. We have his talking to. So this is what happens when we talk to him. It's going to change. It's going to cast that event, which is going to change to the camera four that we told it to in the scene manager. Now what we need is that when we're done, we want it to return to the you know the main camera, the one that we're um, that we use. So there again, this is going to be copied directly from the demo. We'll just plug that in there. Oh, go away. And we'll plug that in there. Compile, save. <clears throat> now, if we're lucky and we didn't forget anything, we should be ready to test this out. So there's our guy. Let's talk to him. So you can tell it changed camera angles and there's the dialogue that we told it to pop up. Now we're going to exit dialogue and it goes right back to the camera that we're using. Boom. And that's that. So yeah, if you like that, if you like I uh, want to see more videos like this, uh, you know, let me know. And I mean, I'm going to keep doing them anyways. But uh, yeah, leave a comment, questions. I'll help in any way that I can. Till next time, we'll see you later.